In a competitive world, collaboration tends to take a back seat, right? Especially if it means changing our standard ways of doing things. We push back saying, we've always done it that way. But how can we work in a collaborative manner for a better benefit for everyone? Now, every third banana on the planet is produced in India. 9 million tons are produced within the state of Tamil Nadu. But over the years, farmers of Tamil Nadu have witnessed a post-harvest loss of 30%. Director of the National Research Centre for Bananas, driven by the Indian government, Dr. S. Uma, she explains that India is a vast country and even sending bananas from the south to the north becomes the equivalent of an export process. So it's a huge process. And previously, we were concentrating on producing more bananas. Now we understand the use of needing to have post-harvest management techniques. Now, this is a huge problem. And they found the tie-up with the most unlikeliest of source, with this, which is with the Danish company Danfoss. Danfoss and the Confederation of Indian Industry decided to fix this problem. And they worked on two interventions using Danfoss's global expertise on cooling. First, pre-cooling the newly harvested bananas to extend the shelf life and the quality of the bananas. And the second thing was creating ripening chambers which resulted in better efficiencies and better control. We see cold chain as a game changer, says Ravi Purushottam, who was the president of Danfoss India. And between these two interventions, they have resulted in a three times higher value for farmers and a wastage reduction of nearly 20%. For Mr. Shivamani, a banana farmer from Sh uh, Tamil Nadu, this has been a game changer. He says, 10 years ago, we had 10 employees. Today, we have 200 families who are dependent on this farm. And some of these new technologies like the coal chain and the reefer containers have made it possible to extend the quality and the shelf life. And we've had our first export of bananas to Europe. And my dream is that we will soon export to the entire world. What a wonderful example of looking at collaboration at the most unlikely of sources. A lot of the times we have people coming from different walks of life. How can we work on cross-pollination of ideas and how can we collaborate to create a new world? Do share in the comments about your thoughts on this.